You basically schedule three types of jobs. Future jobs you're considering bidding. Recently awarded jobs that are in shop pack but not yet released. Or released jobs you're currently designing, engineering, or fabricating. This chapter focuses on future jobs you're considering bidding. A job like this isn't in Project Pack yet, since you don't know if you're going to bid it or not. First, you need to assess its potential impact on committed jobs in the schedule by scheduling it. Since a future job isn't in Project Pack yet, you can't convert it over to Shop Pack from Project Pack. You need to build it manually in Shop Pack. On the Job tab, click the New Job icon from the speed bar and fill in high level job information. We recommend using your own company as the Bill 2 customer since this job isn't a real job yet. If you know a target completion date, put this in Request By Date, and from this date, Determine a reasonable scheduling target finish date. Create one job item and one work order for every major section of the job. Or, if you prefer, if you know what the sections or phases will be, simply create one job item with one work order underneath the job item. Name them similarly to how you named the job. Since we schedule by department, you need to supply reasonable department level estimates under the work orders before you can drag the job to the scheduling area. The fastest way to do this is to create department templates ahead of time that list the typical departments that various types of jobs go through. Refer to the Shop Pack User's Guide for more information on creating department templates. Click the Scheduling sub-tab, right-click the Department Grid, and select Copy Department Template. Choose the appropriate template and click OK. This automatically populates both the Scheduling and Operations sub-tabs from the template. Now the hard part. You must forecast what the hours will be for each department that you anticipate the job will go through. Since one work order now represents the entire job, the estimated hours will be much larger than you typically see on work orders that represent distinct sections of the job. That's it. Save the job and close it. You are ready to add it to the scheduling area in the scheduler. To add the job to the scheduler, Right-click the Unscheduled Jobs tree in the lower left-hand window of the Job Tree tab and choose List Unscheduled Jobs. This brings up the List Unscheduled Jobs dialog box which displays unscheduled jobs in Shop Pack. Search for the future job you just created and click the OK button. This adds the job to the Unscheduled Jobs area of the Job Tree tab. Drag the job up to the Jobs to Schedule area and release the mouse button. The future job is ready to be scheduled. Since this job will hit sometime in the future, we recommend choosing a Don't Schedule Before date to push its start date out accordingly. Run the scheduler and analyze the impact on your current schedule. This will help you make an informed decision as to whether or not you should invest time estimating the job.